All right, ladies and gentlemen, they are finally here. The duo that we actually asked for is finally here. We're getting Banjo and Kazooie. Let's get on with this. This is going to be a basic review of the character just to show off his moveset. And then later on, I'll show you a couple combos that I might potentially discover while I practice off this character. Let's get on with this. Alright, so you got a basic three hit jab, three hit multi jab. Just basic three hit multi jab. You got your standard forward tilt, does about 8%. 8, 8, 9%. I guess it depends on where you poke. I think there might be a sweet spot on the edge. Hold on. Yeah, it looks like it lo looks like the f the closer you are to the sparks, the better the damage is going to be because it has a stale spot when you're up close and personal. But if you hit with the beak itself, it does more damage. All right, then you got down tilt. Just standard down tilt slightly pushes you forward, so be aware of that. You got a standard up tilt. Now this one's a little interesting because unlike most up tilts in this game, it doesn't cover behind them. So if you're thinking that you can lead into a combo by using a backwards up tilt, think again. It covers about half of his body. Like if you look, if you look at where I'm standing, it covers about half. Maybe slightly more. Let's see here. So it covers above and in front, but it doesn't cover behind. Next up is the dash attack. Standard dash attack from Banjo Kazooie. Just literally, literally, it's just their dash attack. Like, like they just roll. That's it. It's it's just the roll. All right, let's get on with the aerials. You got standard neutral air covers all the way around them. It's multi hit, similar to Piranha Plants and Ivysaurs, but I think it's slightly better. Just slightly though, not not too much better, but I personally believe it is slightly better than theirs. Uh, then you got forward tilt. It's reminiscent of Dr. Mario forward tilt. And I say Dr. Mario because it doesn't look like it has a smash. Like it doesn't look like it has a meteor smash, but it does have some really decent power on it. Next up we got back air. It's reminiscent of Yoshi back air. It hits three times. It does a decent amount of damage. And it has a decent amount of knockback at high percent. I'm not saying that it's going to be a kill tool, but it will be able to do a pretty good job off edge. Alright, so down air is a straight forward down air. Just straight down, you can't really do much. Has a lot of lag time on the landing, so be very careful. It's reminiscent of a lot of characters that have a long, a long lag time with their down airs that go straight down. As you can see, it takes a long time for me to shield. I can't jump, I can't move out of it. It has a long time. It does, however, have a spike. It does have a spike mechanic at above 70%, I believe. Yeah, above 70% has a spike mechanic that can potentially lead into up air combos. Or not up air combos, but up smash combos. I guess as well up air combo. No, it doesn't lead into up, air, up air combos, but it can lead into an up smash if you read your opponent properly. That's about the biggest use I can see for it, is just walking up and using it real quick like this. Make them think that you're going to jump on their other side. But aside from that, I don't really see it having many uses. It's a very dangerous thing to use, so I wouldn't suggest using it too much. It's, it, it's, more, of a, it's more of a mix up option I can see than an actually combo option because it's just, it just doesn't really have a solid like it doesn't have solid frame data really and there's a lot of lag time so if you whiff it if you miss it in any way shape or form you're gonna get punished like you're just going to get punished so i don't suggest really using it that often but you can use it as a mix-up option i can see it being used like that but i really don't suggest using it for any other reason all right let's get on with the let's get on with the up air it's it's a two hit up air it's a two hit up air, starts at the beginning and ends, or first hits at the beginning and then the second hits at the end. It does a decent amount of damage, about 7%, and it actually can catch your opponent from quite far away. As you can see, if I'm standing right here, I can still catch them with the up air. And it does drag to the middle of Kazooie. 
so you can use it to lead into potentially more up airs or other aerial combos. All right, let's get on with the smash attack. Oh, this smash attack, dude. This is forward smash. Obviously the most infamously known for being punishing to poor Kazooie. Punishing to poor Kazooie. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Her on the ground, like full on smack her on the ground. I can't imagine how much that hurts. But dang, it does damage. It does damage. Anyway, down smash instead of a instead of it being a two hit down smash it's just a full or it's just a one hit down smash covers that decent range around them obviously as you can see i'm standing right here on this and it hits him all the way over there on five so i can stand right right here and it'll actually hit okay okay i can stand right here and it'll hit no no i can stand right here and it'll hit now this is just embarrassing. Okay, I can stand right here and it'll hit. There we go. <laughs> so it covers it covers about it covers about a block and a half on both sides. It's pretty decent actually. Um, forward smash covers two blocks ahead if you were curious about that. Then you got your up smash. It's a multi-hit up smash. It pulls in from the sides. It, look, it looks like it's useful for starting aerial combos, but I wouldn't suggest using it too much, as actually its hitbox is rather small if you're trying to use it to punish somebody who's on the ground. It's not like it's not like other smash attacks, like Yoshi's smash attack that covers all the way in front, but it does have a decently good amount of damage. Let's see here. You got side B. Wonder Wing, you can obviously use it five times. The uh, the indicator there being the golden feathers. If you try to use it again, you just kind of you just kind of flop over. I could probably wait here for a while, and it probably won't charge back up. So it looks like you only have five per stock. And then after that, you just kind of just kind of fall over. <laughs> you just kind of fall over. Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry, 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 sorry. Let's get on to the next thing. So you got the neutral air. It looks like you you just you do one spit out that's that's stationary, you can't move, and then he switches to just just mobile gun, dude. Mobile gun. Alright, so you can only get out of it by holding down or by using other B's it appears, because I'm trying to use others. I'm trying to use all my A's, it's not doing anything with my A's, it's just firing Kazooie eggs. So I guess you have to press you have to press a different B. Because if you press if you press if you just press neutral B again, it's just gonna spit out more eggs. But if you press like side B, it puts it away. If you if you press down B it puts it away. If you press up B it puts it away. Alright, let's let's see how this up B works, right? So it looks like it just puts you on a stationary jump pad. You can decide to wait a little bit and get a little extra height. It's not like it's that grand of extra height. Can I use... Alright. So you, can, you can't use any more jumps after it. You still only get two jumps. And then using your up B, you don't get any extra height. Any extra jumps either. But it's kind of a dangerous recovery, honestly. I don't know if it has a hitbox. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like it has a hitbox in the other tab. So if I press up B, it doesn't look like I get any invincibility frames during this whole entire thing. None at all. Oh no, this this recovery is bad, dude. Oh no, this recovery is bad. Man, I wish it was better, but this recovery actually does not look to be that good. Positive note is that after using it, you're not helpless, so it might not be as bad as as you would think. Let's see here. If I jump, if I land on it, does it give me an extra? Does it give me an extra jump? It doesn't look like because once I land on it, it just disappears. But let's see what happens if I knock my opponent into it. it doesn't do anything if I knock my opponent into it either. So. 
I guess you can't use it as a combo tool either. It really doesn't seem to be doing anything when I knock Falco into it. So it just doesn't look to be all that great of a... All, all too great of a, uh, a, a recovery. It's, it's not looking good. It has no hitbox. It has no invincibility frames. Now, I could be wrong about the invincibility frames, but I did... I did turn the invincibility frames on and I don't see any blue so it really doesn't look like it's gonna give us invincibility frames during this anyway let's go over let's go over grabs down throw is actually a ground up throw is straight up forward throw doesn't look like it leads into anything maybe a dash attack back throw doesn't look like it can lead any into anything aside from a dash attack as, as well but down throw can probably lead into anything Anyway, I didn't go over the jump earlier, but the jump is a standard jump, and then you get two extra little jumps that do just about the same height. So in a general case, it's the same as a normal double jump, except you can get a little extra range. Just a little though. 